In this problem, we have to uh, solve an equation. So we have 1 over x minus 4 minus 3 over x plus 7 equals 11 over, then over here it says x squared plus 3x minus 28. So that should factor, I believe it's x plus 7, uh, x minus 4. And the reason I knew that is because this problem is rigged. Um, all of these problems uh, on the right-hand side here, this will be uh, the product of the first two factors. And we can check, right? Um, 7x minus 4x gives us 3x, which is the middle term over here. Okay, so part A wants us to identify the values that make the denominator 0. You can easily tell that it's 4 and negative 7. Um, another way to tell is you just take the bottom and you set it equal to 0. And if you do that, uh, you can just solve for x. So you get x equals 4, and here you get x equals negative 7. And so these are the values of x that make the denominator 0. Part B wants us to actually solve the equation. So I'll go ahead and write it again. 1 over x minus 4 minus 3 over x plus 7 equals 11 over x plus 7 x minus 4. And if we get an answer of either 4 or negative 7, we know that's no good. So we'll start by clearing the fractions. So to get rid of the x minus 4, we have to multiply by x minus 4. And to get rid of the x plus 7, we have to multiply by x plus 7. Parentheses. And then we do the same thing to the other side. So x plus 7, x minus 4. That's so small. <laughs> so now we have to distribute. So we're taking this and multiplying it by this. So the x minus 4s will cancel. So we're left with x plus 7. Then we have this minus 3. It's going to hang out. And we're taking this, and we're multiplying it by this, this whole thing here. So the minus 3 will hang out, and the x plus 7 will cancel. So we're left with x minus 4. It's equal to, and then all of this cancels. So we're left with 11. Now we just have to distribute and solve for x. So x plus 7. Distribute the minus 3, so you get minus 3x. Then here, negative 3 and negative 4 is positive 12. And that's equal to 11. So x minus 3x, that's minus 2x. 7 plus 12 is 19. That's equal to 11. Subtract 19. Good stuff. We get negative 2x equals negative 8. To finish, we just divide by negative 2. And then so we get x equals 4. Uh-oh, uh-oh. That's not the answer, right? Because 4 is one of the numbers that makes the denominator 0. So this fails. This is no good. So the answer is no solution. There is no solution. Sometimes uh, they'll want the answer in, in set notation. So you could write that um, as the empty set. The empty set is the set that has nothing in it. So there's nothing there. So Either this is okay, or, or this is typically okay. You can just do that if you like. I um, hope that made sense.